Hello, my name is John Loritz. I'm here with the People's Math Front, and we are going to explain in this video the concept of cumulative vote shares. Now, cumulative vote shares are a type of statistical modeling that's used to assess elections results. And a lot of different studies have shown that by using cumulative vote shares, we can detect election fraud. And so to educate the public, we want to explain to you why that is. And we're going to do that by showing you how a cumulative vote share graph is created. With jelly beans. So this is a made up state. State in state state. It's pretty normal. We have a, uh, we have a city and have areas where these darker regions represent uh, areas where there's a higher population. And then these orange areas around it, we have, uh, you know, these are your suburbs and all that cool stuff. We have uh, this lighter region. Uh, so these are your rural population. So Stadium at State State has just had their imaginary elections. Candidate A has won the elections with uh, 60%. And candidate B has lost them with 40%. And we are going to use jelly beans to represent votes and voters. So the blue ones are going to be votes for candidate A. And the red ones are going to be votes for candidate B. Alright, so what we've done here is we've taken the red and the blue jelly bean. Now remember, candidate A, the blue one, got 60%. Okay? Candidate B, the red one, got 40%. So there were precisely 1,200 blue votes and there were precisely 800 red votes for a total of uh, 2,000 jelly beans here. Those counties that were on the screen just a moment ago, these cups are the counties. This row doesn't have a lot of jelly beans. These are the rural areas, the light areas. Now these ones are the medium areas, or the orange areas, so there's your suburbs. You know? And then these ones are almost brimming here. So what we've done is we've taken them and we've lined them up smallest to the largest counties. And we're gonna graph those out along the x-axis here. And then each time I count one up, I'm gonna add it to the total and I'm gonna plot the percentages. So. First things first, I take the smallest county. I'm gonna count them up. Here, three red beans, one blue bean. And then I'm gonna write that down. Three red, one blue. And I don't need to bust out the calculator to know that that's 75, 25. So red actually came in strong. It's taken 75% of the vote. Poor little blue, only taking 25. Now I'm going to do it again. On this one, even split. Three red, three blue. So now we have six red, four blue. So the six and four is our new total, so now they're at 60-40. 60 to 40. And now I'm going to do it again. Smallest one. Four. Ten to eight. Now I'm gonna plot it, and then I only have thirty-three counties left to do. friends is a cumulative vote share graph and this shape is about exactly what you would expect to see with a random distribution of data it's this bell curve okay so first we're gonna you know we always expect to see a wild fluctuation of data when we've only counted a few votes because then you can find a cluster of red or a cluster of blue that's gonna but as the votes accumulate 
the lines straighten out and they begin to fluctuate less and less and less. Each line will approach a straight line. It'll never quite get to a straight line, but it'll, it'll just, if you just go on counting for forever, it'll just infinitely, infinitely approach a straight line. Now, of course, votes in an actual election are not going to be randomly distributed the way we did it. So, let's take a look at what the CVS graph is going to look like under more realistic circumstances. Now, what I've basically done here is I've turned the blue bean candidate into a Republican and I've turned the red bean candidate into a Democrat, meaning that I moved blue jelly beans into the rural areas, the less populated areas, and I took red jelly beans and I moved them into the more populated, more urban areas. Pretty different shape, but notice the similarities. That's that at, by the time that it's 25% counted, each of them are within 10%. By the time that 50% of the vote is counted, they're within 3 or 4% of the final target. Now, let's take a look at another scenario. Now, with this one, I've done the exact opposite. Now, the red jelly bean candidate is the Republican or the conservative candidate or whoever who's taking a larger share of the vote in the rural area. And then I've moved the blue jelly bean votes over into the urban counties. Now, pretty different shape, yeah? But again, note the similarities. At 20% counted, we're within 10% of our target over there, 60-40. And at 50%, we're actually within 2% of our target this time. So, while the shape of the bell may vary somewhat widely, there are certain features that remain fairly fixed no matter what. Now, my friends, what would you think if you saw a cumulative vote share graph that looked something like this? Alright? Now remember, at all the other ones, are around the 25% mark, you know, they're at least within 10%. On the 50% mark, we were at least within 5, if not within a couple percent. If, do you realize how many jelly beans would have to be in the last few cups here? There would have to be 800 jelly beans, 800 blue jelly beans here, in this region, to make this happen. Alright? Does that make sense? Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. Is that probable? I don't think so.